What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and of course welcome to this midweek video. Now today we are in for chest which means one thing and one thing only. We're back round to flat bench. So like I've said before we are on a kind of 10 day rotation which means one day we'll be focused a lot more on flat bench and another day we'll be focused a lot more on incline. Today we are back round to flat and the plan today is to take up to a top end double of 160 but a pause so we are going to kind of bring in a little bit more difference in intensity variations today obviously we are going to bring in paused for our top end set rather than just all out so i am looking for a double at 160 a clean pause anyway not just a kind of second and then straight back up i'm looking for a nice clean pause and then what the plan is i'm going to back off to 150 and take as many reps as possible so the back off set today is pretty much going to be i'm going to try and get like a decent pr on that anyway i'm going to look for five or six reps i have took five um, a good oh, maybe three or four weeks ago now but the plan is definitely to take six and of course the top end double so plan of attack is i'm going to get straight into it i'm going to go 60 80 and then 100 120 140 and then once i get to 140 that'll be my last and final warm-up set so this is one of the things as well like how you guys can improve your bench press not just for your kind of top end one rep maxes and things but for your actual like top end sets that are maybe between five and ten reps this is one of the biggest things so it's not just a case of coming in every single week and looking for progressive overload from a kind of top end set standpoint like your top end set might be the exact same as what you've been doing for the past kind of two or three weeks but that's not really the point like as you would have seen a few weeks ago when i came in and done 170 that gave me a total new range of weights to play with every single week up until the point where i'll maybe go for a one rep max again who knows whenever that time will be i don't even know probably be quite a long time anyway but that's one of the things as well as we really need to know for us to progress at a kind of a decent rate anyway maybe not every single session because we're not going to be able to perform at 100 percent every single session like it's just never going to be possible but at the same time we need to kind of be able to know where our limit's going to be for say for instance that session like obviously don't get me wrong we don't have such a thing as limitations but whenever we come into the gym we need to know where our working sets are going to be so say for instance me coming in and doing the 170 for the one rep max which would have been probably over a month ago now that means my kind of working sets now where i'm always looking to progress reps are at like your kind of 140 150 160 say for instance your one rep max was 140 maybe you want to start playing with like 110 or 120 maybe even 130 for like three to four reps then once it gets to the point where you are literally repping them weights out that's when you would kind of go towards your maybe double or singles again to see where you are and then that might give you a brand new range of weights to play with this is one of the things when it comes to obviously your flat bench or your incline bench or even something like a deadlift or a squat we can't come in and do your one rep maxes every single session because it just will get to a point where you won't progress you'll be hitting the one rep maxes every single session and then you'll start going backwards you'll start regressing and then one rep maxes and it's just because you're not focusing on working on progressing on them that you like it's impossible to just come in and progress a one rep max session by session by session by session especially if you're an experienced lifter and you've been doing it a long long time it's just not going to happen maybe if you're like a beginner and you're not exactly hitting them one rep maxes then i suppose you could come in every single session and do a new one reper but at the same time you're going to get to that kind of max point where it's not going to be a brick wall that you can't get over it's just going to be a brick wall that you're going to have to come back work and work and work to then progress and get over it so as you'll see as well i'll drop back to just singles before my working set that is literally just to save energy for the top end sets i'm not going to waste all my energy in my warm-up sets that'll be pointless Again, that's one of the things we've got to take into consideration as well. You've got to save the energy for the top sets. They are going to take a lot. Like They are going to bust your CNS. They're going to require 100% attention, 100% energy. And if you're going in with 50, 60, 70% energy max, you're probably going to drop off a few reps that you might need for that progressive overload to earn that progression and take you to your next set. So, like I said, plan of attack today is 160 for a clean pause double and 150 for five or six i'm gonna say six let's just say six gonna opt for the high one anyway guys but i also am going to do dumbbell press today now i've not done dumbbell press in a few weeks on the chest anyway so we are going to hit incline dumbbells that'll be after incline barbell of course i will do it third so i'll get the kind of barbell moves out of the way first incline dumbbell second or third exercise should i say probably should say third so we are going to do incline dumbbells third then it'll be a case of fly movements so dumbbell flies cable flies we're going to hit some arms today but plan is i also want to take the dumbbells up to 50s or 60s i really like to take them up to 60s but 
the worst part of taking them up to 60s is this, you need to like band them and band them and band them because obviously I've only got access to 40s here so that means that I've got to add on four fives each dumbbell because I think it would just be a pain in the arse if I added on like tens so four or five each dumbbell hopefully we'll take them up to 60s but like I said that'll be third exercise not going to do much rambling on today as well guys I think I've covered really what I wanted to cover for this kind of session it's a flat bench session I hope you guys can take something from it I also hope you guys enjoy this midweek video if you do enjoy it then please don't forget to drop the video a like subscribe to the channel if you are new because we're actually closing on 4,000 subscribers like we are quite close to that now so that is pretty cool but like I said hit that subscribe button for me guys and I'm just going to get on with this chest section Right guys, so as you would have just seen there, I've just done my second last warm-up sets, that was 120 kilo. We're now moving to three plates, which will be 140, and then we'll be going for the 160. So I'm actually feeling okay today, like my warm-up sets have moved a little bit quicker before, but I'm not feeling at the point where I've got in my head, right, my top end set's not going to be there today. I'm still feeling confident with a 160 double, and of course 150 for, we're going to shoot for the six reps. We would have seen when we got to 100, we dropped back to the singles, just saving that energy, 120 single, 140 single, and then we'll go for the 160. Thank <laughs> Thank you. 
And just like that, we are done chest for another week or I say another week, it'll be like another kind of three or four days before we do a hit chest again. But obviously we will be back round to incline being the kind of main priority of the session. So we did finish off with some banded push-ups there just to finish because obviously with me being myself, it is quite a task to put weights on my back because obviously I'm not like that flexible to be able to put weights on my back and do push-ups and get into the position. So we did just finish on banded push-ups, obviously to completely finish off the chest, a little bit of triceps in there as well, but mainly it was chest focused so obviously i did finish off on arms but this is one of the, the the biggest things that i look at obviously towards my progression especially on your bigger moves such as your barbell moves so for instance like deadlifts squats benches not just squat bench and deadlift like primarily flat bench deadlift and squat like we're still looking at things like incline we're still looking at things like shoulder press so mainly your bigger compound moves but for me to progress in them i like to know where my top sets are very much at like i feel as if people just set base numbers and then they go by the long book like right i done this weight for six reps last week so next week i must get seven reps on this weight whereas that's going to get to a point where you are going to plateau out and it's going to get to a point where you might increase the weight but at the same time that's also going to plateau out so you're either going to then stop deadlifting like example being we are doing deadlifts here so you are going to get to a point where you're going to stop it you're going to then bring in something like an rdl because you feel as if you have plateaued completely on that and you cannot get any further whereas that's when there are, are now been a lot more knowledge put out there that obviously there are lots and lots and lots of different variations of intensities that you can bring in such as um, pause reps or slower eccentric so tempo reps lots of things like that pause reps being one of the biggest ones like i've seen a lot of people bring in pause reps and even things like leg press and things so this goes for your bench press as well. Incline maybe not so much, but incline's a little bit different. I suppose you could you could maybe bring in things like um, tempo reps on your incline, but maybe not so much paused. Totally depends, like there's nothing wrong with bringing it in, but I would probably make that like last resort on an incline. But like I was saying, this is one of my biggest kind of so-called secrets for progression on the bigger moves is really bringing in all these things, guys. So like I don't just work with one top end set every single week and that's it and I try and beat that every single week. Like I have lots of different sets. So say for instance, lots of pause sets, maybe a high volume set, maybe a lower volume set. Obviously going all the way down to things like singles and doubles, you're always trying to beat these numbers. So once you get stronger on obviously the lower volume sets, even the higher volume sets as well, like say for instance, you were doing two. 220 kilo for 15 reps it's going to get to a point where you are going to progress on that to the point where you might drop back on say for instance 240 you might drop back a few reps if you're going for higher volume but you are also going to build them up so it's like there is never an ending point to these sets and it goes for the same as a bench press a shoulder press even things like a leg press a bent over row all these things like you never need to drop it out just because you feel as if you're plateauing on it there's always some way you can progress on it and that is one of the biggest things why i keep in all all my squat benches deadlifts presses all the biggest moves like i swear by the basics and and you guys know that by now but i just really wanted to come on here and cover my kind of top way to progress in these because I, I feel as if whenever i upload a video it's like a case of oh it's, it's never ending progression and things like that but it's not really the case because i don't just have one set that i'm looking to progress on every single session it's like i have lots of different weights lots of different sets so it's always a case of mixing and matching and progressing on this this day progressing on that another day progressing on incline there's lots of things guys but that's one of the things don't just feel as if you're hitting a plateau on one set and then drop it out that's not the case but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed it and i've just realized i watched it back there while i watched the first couple of clips back and i've said that this is a midweek video even though it is going to go up on friday which is definitely not the midweek but oh well who cares anyway it's friday we're moving on to the weekend we're moving on to deadlift so of course i'm going to try and big you guys deadlift it's actually my birthday on saturday which means i'll be deadlifting on my birthday so by the time this video goes up it still won't be my birthday because obviously this is going up on Friday. But yes, Saturday deadlift day is my birthday. I will try and bring you guys them deadlifts. Of course, I'm going to be having some nice food on my birthday as well. So I might bring that to you guys. I might not. But like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please don't forget to drop the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next video.